boxing. The raw power, the pure use of human strength and dexterity. Her. And the sudden loss of self-awareness when you drop to the mat. Like a dying ducky. Throughout gaming history, the sweet science just hasn't been. Most games have used a series of button combos that reduce the game to a frenzy of matching. Not so with Fight Night 2004. Why is there a blimp in the stadium? The controls of this game are the biggest innovation since the fatigue meter. All the standard punches are initiated by the right analog stick. This allows you to focus on strategy rather than memorization. And guess what? Boxing actually requires the use of your noggin rather than just your brute strength. Okay, in most cases. Now while the new control style is a move in the right direction, it's not perfect. The game puts a lot of demand on your thumb. Not all of us are the pawns. Hell, I'm not even Pinky Tascadero. So apparently, I'm this guy when I indulge in ringside fantasies. Wait, hold on, this is a fantasy. What, when's their cornrows part of my fantasy? And I can't even win. I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna fantasize anymore. Obviously, the game comes with a creative player mode, and there are different modes. The primary one is career mode, and this is the one other area where the game falls a bit short. Just like me. The Grim Reaper with no mercy. There's nothing wrong with it, but it just doesn't match the depth found in other EA Sports games. Management and customization options are too light. Just like me. But the opponents are not. Each boxer boxes differently, and you have to learn their style and plan. Just throwing punches willy-nilly will get you nowhere but down. But even getting your ass handed to you looks good in this game. The animations are smooth, and knockouts just... Man, look at that. Fight Night 2004 isn't perfect, but it has the foundation to become as definitive a sports series as some other little titles from EA. And if you like boxing, you should already own it. A four out of five. Ooh, yay, I'm a winner!